okay, I'm back. Um, yeah. And, okay, so, um, a while ago, it's been a while now. I just, oh, I've been so far behind. But, um, I commissioned Anne to do some face-ups for me, and I need to introduce them yet. Um, but, like, I haven't, literally, I haven't done anything, anything since my last videos. Like, nothing. Nothing progressed. I haven't done any clothes, any character work. Nothing. I've just let my dolls be themselves and just been happy that they're here. That's all I've done. And that's horrible. So, I commissioned her to do some face-ups and they turned out great. And I was so happy. But I will introduce them again some other time. Because, uh, I wanted to show you who she sent with because um, at a different point um, I was really I was so sad that she had to sell this girl because like I love that character again like I said in my other video if if a doll of yours has a character that I love I get so freaking sad when you either reshell the doll or like sell it because I don't know why it's like it's like no that doll has to be you know oh that character and I just I don't know I get all weird and emotional because it does it's not my doll even it's not mine so I'd have no reason to get all sad and you know mopey but I do it's weird because I don't know I love sometimes I love your guys' dolls more than my own I don't know why I just do because the characters make me smile. Like, just the fact that, yeah, they, out of a billion different dolls of the same sculpt, that doll has to be that character. So that's how I felt about this girl. And um, so I said to her, you know, I wanted her to stay with her no matter what. So I just, you know, she's your, I, I'm going to buy her, but she's yours as a gift, blah, 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 because I just wanted her to be, be that persona forever, because this doll has to be that person, and then I told her if it's ever, you know, time for her to move on, you can send her to me if you, if you feel like it, and she did, so, so, who am I talking about? <laughs> Little badger, she sent her my way, and she's wrapped up <laughs> in a t-shirt, <laughs> because, I am so inept. Okay, I've been in this hobby for a while, right? So I should know what's going on by now. And this shirt is covered in other dolls' hair. <laughs> That's not my hair, it's someone else's. So, yes, what have we been up to? Anyway, so she's wrapped up in this shirt because I am so inept. I cannot take her head off to dress her... Like, I don't want to flash her little nudities, but, well, you're all sorts of messed up. But I cannot figure out how to remove her head without untying her elastic. Because she's got the, the little, the hippie body. She's got some hips on her. And she's freaking adorable. Little badger. Like, she's already seems so different from when you had her in. But, like... Okay, so when she came, we tried to dress her in the stuff you sent. And uh, there's a cute little orange dress, which I do not know where I put any of her stuff. I think it's with the rest of my clothing, which is kind of buried right now. So, But <laughs> anyway, I looked inside her head, and I'll show you guys. Like, for some reason, see, the knot's so huge, and then the little opening is smaller. I don't know how you got it off. So I was trying to, you know, take her head off. And I'm like, well, I'm going to mess something up. So I'm like, maybe, maybe we can just slide it over her head. And no, because her little, her noggin is really big. So I think her head is actually bigger than her hips. So <laughs> maybe they're about the same size. So we can't do the over the head fudging. And like, oh, she's so cute. Look at that face. Okay, anyway, so we couldn't do that. And then I'm thinking, okay, 
like every time I try on clothes, maybe we can just squeeze in more, right? And it'll be fine. <laughs> so we tried to go the other route up past her little hips here. And it, we got so close. It was so close. And I almost got them past here. Like the dress almost went past here. And then rip. There went the seam. And then I got it on her. And then the Velcro in the back met. But then she, her little butt was hanging out. Because it ripped this much. So I kind of wrecked the dress. <laughs> All because she encouraged me. It'll fit. It'll fit. It'll fit. And it didn't. So. Right now she's just sporting this wonderful mustardy yellow with a really cool pattern. Um, shirt as more of a blanket so that she's, you know, covered because she's modest. <laughs> like, I don't like, I hate that my dolls are all nude, like half nude. Most of them have no clothes because, yeah, I'm still having issues with my bank letting me do what I need to do. But... So, yes. So she's sporting this shirt because, and I have a feeling I'm going to have the same problem with this dress you sent. But that's what she sent this cute little dress with my other package for. It's got little puppies on it. Ah, oh, isn't that cute? And then I'm assuming this is another wig for her, maybe? So there's like two wigs in here. And I kind of really like, I like this purple one on her. She also sent her little orange one with, and again, I don't remember where everything went because we had kind of a, oh my gosh, someone's coming home. We have to pack some stuff up and put it away before they show up type of day. So yes, that's what happened there. Okay. I think, or are these just wigs that'll fit anybody? I think this might fit anybody. This is a really cool wig. Look at that. It's two-tone black and silver. This might fit anybody. This might work. No, this is more of a... Is this an SD? I think this is more of an SD size. I'm like, maybe this will work for my Bori I'm having trouble with. No. No, no, no. He's still confusing me. And then this cute little fur one silver fur one. Ah, see? Which I need to like yeah, I think this is too big for her. <laughs> That's kind of cute. <laughs> does, it, does it match? Nah. <laughs> That's not for her. Um, what was I going to say? I was talking about something. Um, Oh, yeah. So still having issues with my Lutz Bori boy and I haven't gotten his clothing in yet so maybe by the time that shows up we'll be good but um I'm not holding my breath <laughs> oh dear lord but um yeah so I'm still hoping that works out but because I don't have right now selling scares the crap out of me because there have been so many bad buyers on the Facebook group and scammers. And I'm like, oh my God, how do you tell, you know, a legit person from a scammer? So I'm kind of scared to ever sell or trade anything on there. And um, I honestly, I don't know which way this way goes. Is it on backwards? Um... So yeah, I'm kind I'm conflicted when it comes to and I don't want to have to buy or sell anybody. I want them to just work out. She's actually kind of cute on her. Oh, she's adorable. But anyway, um yeah. But so many just like there was one trade, someone traded their like ador like gorgeous Dulce Saint and they got this weird boot ahead. Like somebody's such an uh, a hole that they thought that would be funny, you know? So I'm like, oh my god, I'm never, like, I'm, unless it's somebody I know, like, you, one of you guys, I will not trade, I don't think, ever. Because if I got scammed like that, I would be so pissed. I'd be pissed, first of all. Because this is a hobby that you're supposed to be, it's supposed to bring people joy, not 
you know, sadness and all that crap. And, uh, yeah, like, who would do that? There's more in here than just the dress. I'm going to open this, too. Um, but, so, yeah, I don't think I would ever trade anything. Selling, I don't know. I don't like selling dolls for some reason. It's like, <gasps> this will work. Oh, yay! You read our minds. You read our minds, girl. Ten, ten minutes already. Oh. Okay, we're going to put this little dress on her. I didn't want it to be a little nudie anymore. And I think that'll be a good thing. So, this is the kind of clothes I need for her right now. That open completely and then snap all the way. Because I can't get her head off. And I do not want to break her somehow. I'm still like, have this, uh, whoops, phobia, maybe. We'll call it a phobia. That's not just a fear, it's a phobia of breaking my dolls somehow just by handling them. And I need to get over it because there is like no reason for it, but... This can be a dress on its own. See, it only has the one little snap because I think <laughs> a little butt sticking out. I think it's meant to be just a smock, but it's a good start because now if I put like a couple more snaps in here and here, we can make it a dress and it'll just close properly and it'll be cute. Let's put your wig on so that we can see what you look like. Um, but yeah. So, I, again, I completely forgot what I was talking about. Oh, the buying, selling, trading thing. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm scared to do any of that. Like, even selling and stuff, because, I don't know, as, as a buyer, I would want the seller to send my stuff as soon, like, I know people do as soon as they can. But like as soon as it's paid off, please ship it. Like then there's no reason for anyone to get mad. Cuz it'll be Oh, you cutie. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yes. There we go. Thank you so much. Now she's Now we're happy. Oh. Okay. So, um we just gotta try to make this not so hospital gown <laughs> with the openness in the back. <laughs> um, yeah, so I would expect or hope that people would ship it like right away because you go through the trouble of hurrying and hurrying and collecting the funds and you probably shouldn't be spending all that money at once and you're doing it as a favor to that person to, uh, I <laughs> think this is a little blithe hat. <laughs> which wisp is way up there so maybe we'll just put it on you for now um yeah so just send the stuff you, like any other thing you buy like if I order something from Amazon the second that money clears it better be processing you know because I don't have time to wonder I just lost that other wig that I had on my head where did it go <laughs> I don't have time to think about it and try to remember what's going on. So, oh, here it is. <laughs> um, it's really cute. Hey, I like that. Maybe it's not a Blythe hat. It's a badger hat. Oh, she's so cute. And I think she's going to stay as badger just because, well, Anne mentioned that she'd like her to be able to keep in touch with the rest of the crew and this is just another part of her journey and all that stuff which is awesome but if ever you want her to come visit again and spend time with you I will gladly send her there because she is still connected to you and your dolls I don't know she is she's just she's meant to be the persona you created and she's never going to change from that. So, yes. She's she's a forever... A forever character or whatever. She'll never change. But she's so cute. <laughs> I love this. Ah, oh, do 
adorable. So, yeah. But, so in my, in between my ranting about selling and stuff, um, yeah. So I just wish people in the hobby, I don't know why it all went so crazy. I'm going to try these wigs on him too. I don't know why everything went so crazy lately. Like, it's like nobody has respect for anybody else's possessions or they just don't care that someone else is completely devastated when, you know, oh, I'm going to scam you and take your money or, oh, I'm going to send you something faulty and completely not what I promised you or... Yeah, it's just nuts. Because it ruins the hobby for people. It's just like, <laughs> I don't think that works. It's kind of a derp. <laughs> That's kind of a derp on you, hon. So, yeah. I don't know. So lately in the hobby, like, everything's good. It's just strangers that I don't know. And I don't want to have to... Because I've never, ever... I haven't been scammed yet. And, like, the other day, like, I was just talking about, like, something where I've broken that's never happened to me either and that just completely just de destroyed my world like the parts are coming to replace the ones that are broken but still it's like to me as even though I came through mint on card I will order for mint on, on card again because it's not their fault that the company had uh, a mold that was you know I think it was just getting worn or whatever so one of the legs was a little bit um, thinner resin down by the ankle so it shattered and then it was strung really tight so then that didn't help and then yeah so I had a couple broken pieces on that one but just from that experience I don't want to order from that company again because I I know they're not it's a gorgeous doll and everything but quality wise I like the thick stout not gonna break on me dolls because that just dev devastates me it's like oh like I was, I was I did I cried I'm not even gonna lie I cried and I'm like what do I do and uh I think Shelby got the brunt of my oh my god what do I do thing because I was so just uh, but I should be getting new parts and all that but yeah, I'm going to show him in a different video because I have questions about what to do when stuff arrives and the stringing on that doll. I don't know if anybody has a Jaga doll of any size, but they're strung kind of weird because of how they're built or whatever. And uh, I don't know how this wig is supposed to work, <laughs> but I don't think this is his style either. It is so hard to find wigs for elf ears. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work either. But I think for some reason he's going to have a long straight wig of some sort. And I don't know if I have any. I just love him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, what was I talking about? See, again, I lost my train of thought. I was talking about... Oh, the broken one. So anyway, if anybody owns a Jaga doll, like an SD, if you have one, or even an MSD, I'm sure they're kind of strung the same way. This one came with really super thick elastic, and I think that might be part of why he broke. Because there was more tension on, because it was strung really tight. And the elastic is thicker than even my 70, 70 centimeter dolls. Elastic. And I don't know if that adds extra pressure to the joints or whatever but uh yeah so I'm gonna need advice before those parts come but until then I'm gonna hang out with this little guy and for now he's just gonna stay as he is and we're gonna see where what he tells me he wants to become and I need to find him some clothes but I want him to have a nice little cozy sweater for sure because that seems to be my my doll goal is to have everybody have nice, cozy, comfy clothing. And because most of them are modern, except for the MSDs. And they are, and my one little, little guy, um, my little urchin guy. 
but they're all like medieval starving waif type of that kind of garb which I have trouble finding too so yes but I don't know, someday I'll have my stuff all figured out, and uh, I gotta make a video that's not all scattered. That'd be great, because it's been a while. Can you tell I don't know what I'm doing? <laughs> it's been a while. I'm all over the place. Because <laughs> I got so many updates, and none of them are working out, so. But for now, yes, Badger is still here, Anne, and she is adorable in the clothes you sent, and I need to just... Do a little snap back here, and she will have a dress that I can safely remove and put on without ruining. And I can fix the other one. I just have to sew it, but I haven't had time because I've been busy working and stuff. But until then, she's just going to keep this cute little because I love this wig on her. I don't know. I, for some reason, the purple just works for me. And once I find her little orange one again, we'll try that on her too. But She's just adorable. Um, so yeah, and again, 20 minutes of talking about bleh. Maybe I'll do one more about the broken one. Hey, why not? <laughs> I'll be right back. See ya.